Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a video that is highly requested. As you can tell from the title, it's a really good booty workout. Um, I did like a two part mini series on how to get a booty. So if you're more of a beginner, this video might be a little confusing or you just might not get the terminology. I will definitely explain the exercises I'm doing, but not necessarily in tons of detail. So if you need really the basics of building your glutes or starting working out, I will link those two videos down below. But this is gonna be just a really good booty workout I did with my friend Sophie. She's a fitness queen. Go follow her, I'll leave her Instagram here. She's the best. And she was like, come work out with me. I have an amazing booty workout. She sent me the plan. It looked similar to what I would do with, um, like she pushed me though, like she did more exercises than I would normally do and she did supersets and stuff like that. So I filmed it and I'm gonna show it to you guys. So maybe you wanna try it out, maybe you'll get inspiration, whatever. So a lot of the time I do, I focus each leg day on booty, but also like more quad dominant or more hamstring dominant. And what I liked about this workout is it kind of encompassed both of them at the same time. So I felt it in my quads and my hammies the next day. Um, which is really good if you kind of want to hit them all in one. Maybe you're gonna about to go on vacation You just want to get a really good workout in or whatever. So yeah, let's just get into it. Stop blabbering So the first thing we did which is something I never do you guys know that I fucking hate cardio But we did stair climber. She started with 10 minutes. I simply could not um, I did five minutes and that was about my max so if you absolutely die on the step climber. I've been working out for a long time and I can't do the stair climber. It, it was a really good warm up for the glutes. It's not high impact and it's just like it warms up your heart rate. And then we jumped in to hip thrusts. These are the best way to get a booty ever. Guys should do it. Girls should do it. Your mom should do it. Your dad should do it. Everyone should do it. It is what builds your glutes the best. It's really good to start workouts with something heavy, something hard, get the hard stuff over with. I often do uh, hip thrusts on the Smith machine, which you guys might have seen before in previous videos, but this time we did it just with the barbell and a bench. And this is really good because it challenges your muscles because it's not just straight up and down like a Smith machine. It challenges your muscles to lift it all like up completely on your own. Um, so we loaded it, uh, warm up we did 45 pounds on each side and warm up we did just like 10, um, 10 reps and just one set of that and then we moved into three reps or four reps of um, Two 45s on each side. What's that math? So 180 pounds, but the bar is like 20 pounds or something. So about 200 pounds So I challenged myself a lot and I was proud of myself So yeah, I did like eight reps six to eight reps of that because it is really heavy the way that you know You have the right amount of weight is whatever many like however many sets you should be doing if you're kind of dying on the second last rep that's perfect. If it's super easy and you can finish your eight reps easily, you need to add more weight. And if you're dying on the fourth rep, like dying, you need to lower your weight because you don't want to hurt yourself and um, having good form is more important than anything. So that was the hip thrust. And then we moved on to the next exercise. We did um, a leg press and I really love these. I added a band. Um, it's like a hip circle. I got it for like five bucks at a local fitness store. I wrap it around my thighs and I put we put our legs really high up on the leg press because it really hits your booty more um, and this is also great for your quads. We did uh, four sets of that and eight reps. I did 10 though, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes I did like 12 just because I am pretty strong when it comes to um, the leg press. So I challenged myself. I didn't go as heavy as I normally would um, just because I kind of liked alternating in this workout how I did some Lighter weight, some heavier weight. Bulgarian split squats. You guys are gonna hate me for this one. I hated myself while doing it. I hated Sophie while doing it. I hated everyone while doing it. They're so hard. You put your back leg on the bench and um, I'm gonna link a video down below from this girl named Chrissy. She's like this British fitness girl. She explains Bulgarian split squats with this um, trainer that she worked with so well, but I'm gonna quickly explain it. Um, you have to get as you can see, we're leaning, not leaning back, but we kind of go diagonally into the lunge motion because you want to hit your butt more than totally hitting your quads when your knee goes over your toe. So um, I usually do like 40 pounds for this, but Sophie was like, no, it's really good to do 
lightweight 15 pounds and crush it do more sets i think we did three or four sets and 10 to 12 reps and um yeah, we really hit our quads and we really focused on our form. Sorry, we really hit our glutes and focused on our form. And it also does kill your quads as well. So it's a really good one, but it's really hard. I feel like everyone hates Bulgarian split squats because they're just death. Like <laughs> we were dying. Okay, so now moving into the superset of our exercise, we did, um, we switched. It was nice going with a partner because we could just keep switching. And the weight was pretty low, so I wasn't dying. But so we did laying leg curls with a four second like descent. You can see in the video, your legs come up quickly and then you slowly, you take four seconds to release them back down. It just really works your hamstrings and glutes really well. You shouldn't be dying. Like make sure the weight's a little bit lower for this one just because your form is important and you don't want to pull your hamstrings. And then right after that, we go into another hamstring exercise. It's like a straight leg deadlift kind of with just a free weight. Be really careful with these. Make sure there's a slight bend in your knees. You want to hinge at your waist and make sure your core is really tight so you're not bending your back and straightening your back. Your butt and your legs should be doing all the work. So we did 10 to 12 reps of that. And then I would take like a 30 second break and then do that superset again. A superset means you just go from one exercise to the next without breaking. And then after those two, you break. So your muscles really get a burn. So then we did another superset actually, um, the abductors and ab abductors, abductor. You'll see in the video, it's like this and this. <laughs> 15 reps, a little lighter weight, especially for the um, inwards one. I think that's the abductor, I think. Um, a little less weight, you really don't want to pull your inner quad area. So 15 reps, and then I hop right on to the abductor, which is super good for the booty, super good for the quads. You guys have probably seen me do it so many times, and I don't sit back on this one. I like to either lean forward or lean forward and sit up from the chair, but keeping my quads low so it's really hitting your glutes on the way out. And we did like... 12 to 15 reps of that as well. And then we'd hop back onto the other one and do that superset three times. And this like workout was killer. Like I really want you guys to try it. Um, it involved a lot of different exercises, which was really cool. Um, lots of hamstrings, quads, glutes. And the next day I was sore. I just haven't done like a full on solid booty workout in a while. So I hope this was somewhat helpful, inspirational. Let me know if you do it. Challenge yourself. Focus on form, don't focus on having the biggest ego in the gym. It doesn't matter how much you're lifting, it matters your form and that you're improving in yourself. Try not to be intimidated. I know it is intimidating going into the gym, I totally get it, but just know that everyone's there improving themselves. They're focusing on themselves, not you, and the fact that you're in the gym already is super impressive. I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video and the quick booty workout. Thank you so much for watching and I love you. I'll see you in my next video.